Aside from our previous video, there's still some information you need to know about Havana rabbit. Supplies and cages. Havana rabbits are large and energetic, and therefore it needs a big enclosure. With a large cage indoors or out, it can play, sleep, socialize with other rabbits, and more. This cage should be made of wire and must have a very strong frame. The bottom of the cage should be removable because this is where the rabbit's droppings will fall. All you need to do is to remove the pan and dispose of the poop as well. The floor must have soft bedding and lined with good quality bedding. Place a rabbit hay feeder along the side of the enclosure. Place hay so your rabbit can eat when it is hungry. And for the bedding, use hay, wood pellets, or horse bedding. You can also purchase bedding material from pet supply stores. To clean the cage, remove your pets and place these in a safe and clean container or cage. In cleaning, use a safe cleaner or cleaning product such as white vinegar, baking soda, or lemon juice. Never use household cleaners because these could have dangerous ingredients that can make your pets sick. Use a separate or extra cage to take care of baby Havana rabbits. Newborn rabbits are naked, deaf, and blind. These should have a warm enclosure to keep them warm and safe. A smaller cage with a cage lamp or lighting will suffice to keep baby rabbits dry, warm, and safe from predators. Health Concerns A Havana rabbit is a healthy domestic rabbit breed, and these are not affected by any kind of specific disease. The most common condition that the Havana rabbit may be affected with are pests such as mites, ticks, and fleas. These may be found naturally inside its enclosure in the wild, in your garden, or inside its outdoor enclosure. This breed is not immune to common rabbit diseases, which is why you must monitor your rabbit's health and temperament. Take note that any kind of change must be due to illness. So, as early as your pet opens its eyes and weans from its mother, take it to the vet for vaccinations and tests. The vet will also recommend tests to assess the health and development of your pet. Smaller and younger rabbits may have sensitive digestive systems, especially in rabbits that are younger than two months. These rabbits may be prone to enteritis, bloat, stasis, and other conditions of the digestive tract. Also, check for ear or fur parasites such as mites, fleas, and ticks. Rabbits that have these parasites usually have poor hygiene and are kept in dirty surroundings or enclosures. Check your rabbit for signs of illness like poor appetite, nasal and eye discharges, loose stools, constipation, and vomiting. Be mindful of signs like an unsteady gait, restlessness, teeth grating, and sleeping for long periods because these could be signs of a serious condition. Also, worm your pet rabbits and other pets. Havana must be treated for worms at least twice a year and must be treated during springtime and fall. This is an important concern, especially with rabbits that are from the wild or born from wild parents. There are many deworming products, but a deworming paste is the best idea. Use a pea-sized deworming paste and place this in the rabbit's mouth. The rabbit is very meticulous, and this will lick and swallow the medication. You should follow the dose depending on your vet's recommendations. Dental care. A rabbit's teeth will grow throughout its life, and sometimes, its teeth can grow so long that they can pierce its mouth and gums. When this happens, it can be very painful and too painful to eat anything. So make sure that the rabbit's teeth don't overgrow to avoid pain and stress. Help your rabbit grind their teeth by offering hay. You may also use pieces of wood, baskets, or other toys and accessories to fill the rabbit's teeth. Spaying or neutering. Rabbits are naturally promiscuous, and if not properly controlled, you can have a house full of bunnies in just a year. Control this by spaying or neutering your pets. Spaying and neutering must be done at a young age, but some vets prefer to wait until the rabbits are six months of age. Havana rabbits are also neutered at a young age because some pet owners believe that neutering reduces aggression. Some vets neuter bucks when they are three months, which might be too early. So for questions about spaying and neutering, consult your vet at once. Grooming. Havana rabbits have short to medium furs depending on the color of the coat. But it does not matter what color of the coat your rabbit has, it will need regular grooming. You should use a small but strong brush to keep the fur clean, shiny, and free from pests. Groom at least once or twice a week. Grooming should be done more frequently during their molting period. Molting can happen once or twice a year, and this is when a rabbit sheds its old fur to make room for new fur. The rabbit can eat their fur to prevent wool blocks and to help groom your pet. Never bathe your rabbit because this can cause stress. Use a damp towel to spot clean your pet. Just wipe the rabbit down with a towel and use a dry one to finish off. Also, trim your rabbit's nails regularly and check the rabbit's mouth for overgrown teeth and its ears for pests and wool impaction. Havana rabbits will eat fruits and vegetables, and you may also feed your Havana rabbits commercially prepared pellets or rabbit food. These are rich in nutrients that will benefit your pet's good health. Havana rabbits will eat only plants because it is a herbivore. 
These will eat all parts of the plant from the plant roots, bark, seeds, weeds, flowers, and leaves. When in captivity, it can eat rabbit food, vegetables, seeds, nuts, and fruits. You can keep the Havana rabbit as a pet due to its docile and sweet temperament. This is a good pet for families and families with children, and space is very important since Havana rabbits are active rabbits. Havana rabbits cannot be found in the wild because these are domesticated rabbits. Havana rabbits reside in human areas and commercial areas like breeding kennels, pet stores, and human homes as pets. For Havana pets, these may be placed in large indoor or outdoor cages and should be in groups for companionship. You may let a rabbit remain indoors but only under your supervision. You must only use a portable fence to keep it off areas that you don't want it to stay. You must rabbit-proof your home before letting your pets out of their enclosure. Pet owners say that Havana rabbits are also like other rabbits that may become territorial when kept in a small cage. Males will develop aggressive behavior and may become very dangerous to other males, most especially during the breeding season. The aggressive males can attack other males in the cage to defend their territory. You can keep two or more rabbits in one cage as long as you have a cage that's large for all pets. The cage should be large and safe so that your rabbit or rabbits can remain comfortable in their cages and safe as well. Rabbits must visit the vet at least two times a year. Young rabbits should receive vaccinations against rabbit diseases as early as possible and have an initial visit to a vet when they are just a few days or weeks old to rule out any illness. A pet Havana rabbit may stay outdoors, but you must rabbit-proof your yard or outdoor area. A strong portable perimeter fencing is a safe way to secure the rabbit and to avoid off-limits areas. Make sure to bury the fence poles to prevent the rabbit from digging it out and escaping. You can buy a Havana rabbit from a breeder or a retailer. The price will depend on whether you are getting a pet rabbit or a show rabbit. The price may change depending on the rabbit's gender, size, coat quality, coat color, and overall appearance. It's important to buy only from a reputable breeder, look for one that breeds healthy Havana rabbits that have no genetic problems. Aside from visiting a breeder, you can also find this breed in local trade fairs and events. Some shows and contests highlight this breed, which is sponsored by the Arba. Havana rabbits are very affectionate and attention-seeking. They are also known for having a relaxed and friendly personality. They are lively and attentive without being nervous. Although some Havanas are semi-aggressive. So it's important to know the temperament of the parents before buying your Havana. The average lifespan of these rabbits is about 7 to 10 years and sometimes more if properly cared for and if kept in captivity. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.